Hi, this is Jennifer Gonzalez for Cult of Pedagogy. Today I'm going to teach you how to use an online application called Volunteer Spot. If you've ever been in charge of organizing an event, you know how it can get very complicated uh, when you're trying to contact everybody to see who can do what. Typically when we're in charge of an event like this, people tend to use a, a paper sign-up sheet or they will do a series of reply all emails and this can be very complicated. Uh, with an application like Volunteer Spot, you can get all of that online with no paper and no confusion in one central location. So to show you how to use Volunteer Spot, I'm going to suppose that you're in charge of a school dance and two of the things that you have to get people to sign up for are to chaperone and maybe to bring some refreshments. So let's take a look at how we would do that. We'll go over here to the Volunteer Spot website. It's volunteerspot.com and I'm going to assume that you can to create your own account and do all of that. So once you're on the site, you click on create a sign up. You're going to click on create new activity and you're going to be choosing a single day activity for this one. Let's call it dance. And the other required field is the type of activity. So we will just put kids class school. Let's click next. The next window is for premium users. We're not using that. Uh, the next page just has your personal information, your email and name, which is important for later on when they contact you about who is signed up. Then you get a calendar. Let's suppose we want to do this on Friday the 30th. So we'll click that page to plan, plan this day. Now we've got to do tasks, uh, the chaperoning, and we've got to bring tasks. We want people to bring some things for refreshments. So let's start by scheduling a to do task. We're going to want chaperones. And we'll have them work one hour shift. So we'll do start and end time here. Uh, let's say your dance starts at 7. So we want some people to come at 7 p.m. and stay until 8 p.m. And let's say we need four chaperones for that time slot. Okay, click cancel, or sorry, not cancel, save. And uh, so we would do the same thing for the next round of chaperones from 8 to 9 p.m. We just do the same thing, add a to do task. Uh, and then for refreshments, let's have people bring some uh, Cokes. Let's say we want people to bring a 12 pack and we need six people to bring these. We don't need to do start and end times for this. We can just click save. Okay, so you can see there are six, uh, six spaces for that, four for the chaperones. So you can just add as many of those as you need. And now we've got those two things that are in there. If you look closely at this right now, zero out of four people have signed up for the to do, the chaperoning, and zero out of six people have signed up for the to bring. You got to ask people to sign up. So I'll show you how to do that next. We'll click next. Right here they want you to send yourself a draft invitation so you can make changes to this message as you want to and they're going to send it to you. So you can just click send draft. That's so you can just take a look at how it, how it looks when it goes out. This screen here shows you all the different options for how to actually send out the emails to people. You can put a link on a school website, you can just send a regular email, and so this lists all of the different options. I'm going to close out of here for right now and show you how to do it from the main screen. I'm going to show you how to send, send the invitation by creating a link. So we'll click on create a link. They've got lots of different options um, for doing that. I prefer to just copy the link up here and paste it into an email. So I'm going to copy that. Then I'll go over to my regular email and paste it into there. So I'm in my regular email application now. I'm going to send this to myself at another address. I'll just include the link right there, just typing a short message and adding the link that I just copied. Now Volunteer Spot is going to actually change that into an ad. I think that may confuse people. If you just X out of there, it turns back into the regular link. So you can do either way. Send that. Okay, so I go into my uh, other email, open up the one that was just sent to me, and there it is right there. There's the link. I click on that. I'm taken right here. They want me to enter my email address twice. This is I'm being a person who's signing up right now and the only reason for that is because they will send me an email reminder later but I'm not signing up for an account here. So when I go in here I see there's the dance and then here are the two different options of activities that I could sign up for. Let's say I want to sign up to bring a pack of coke so I will click sign up. It's got me in there now and I click save. Now the last thing I'm going to show you is what it looks like when I go in as the organizer. If I look on my activities, I see dance right there, click on it. Now if I look here, there is now a one out of six. One person has signed up for one of those six uh, refreshment slots. And so when I click there to view status, I can see that one person has signed up for the Coke.
as the date gets closer, the person who signs up for the activity is going to get an email reminder about two or three days beforehand, just reminding them that this is coming up and they do that, which to me is the best feature of this, apart from all the centralization, is that that person is going to uh, be reminded without you having to do anything. And that's how it works. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you liked this and would like to subscribe, please click on the button below. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.